So hey, uh, everyone Thinker and Clipper fans, I just wanted to throw a quick video up of uh, the printer here printing a, this is from a campaign called Birchwood Vale on my mini factory, but uh, it's, so it's a forest waypoint. Uh, but really I just kind of wanted to show um, after the upgrades what, uh, how things are doing uh, with the printer. I put a couple, I think picture, I'll have some more pictures to put up as well as some, uh, uh, and eventually some more videos as well. But they've kind of integrated a little bit of a camera solution back here. My Pi, uh, which is now a Pi 4, uh, the two gigabyte version is back here. Uh, again, I put it near the window here to get a good Wi-Fi signal since the Wi-Fi router is kind of on the second floor but near a window as well. Um, and then I, I, like I said, wired in a camera stand uh, to have a decent uh, perspective when I'm monitoring the print from elsewhere. Um, uh, you can see the LED lighting keeps things really nice and uh, bright in there, which, which is helpful for me to be able to see what's going on. And this print, although um, it's bouncing from as it's doing pillars like this, as far as my speeds right now, my acceleration is at 2,200 millimeters per second um, squared. So uh, pretty, ha you know, I haven't been able to get an accelerometer to work yet. So eventually I'll have a better uh, acceleration speed and better input shaping uh, parameters for Clipper. But right now um, I'm using previously measured stuff, uh, just, just a baseline and, um, and moving from there. And my print speeds here are nominally 100 millimeters per second. Now, my outer walls, I think, are 75, inner walls, 85, something like that. I mean, pretty much all up around 80 millimeters per second for just walls. Um, and then, like, uh, infill and some of these other things are printing up uh, at, at 100 millimeters per second. Um, so uh, I, I enjoy the fact that this entire print here, even though it's, it's not a large print, but at the same time, it's relatively high. It's still got a little bit to go it's going to take like an hour and 15 minutes um so it's uh, it, it it is a time saver to get clipper up and running at this point i'm still running if you see in the back um although i'm using the pieces from the er20s extruder it's still the stock extrusion assembly um but i am going to move uh very within you know once i get through a few more prints and i'm happy with the way things are going i'm going to move to i'll show you here the tough extruder uh, by uh, TH3D. Uh, really, that's a Titan extruder. It's E3D, E3D's design. And I'm going to be moving to a, uh, a pancake motor um, by TH3D instead of the big motor back there. So once I get those things done, I'll work a little bit harder on getting the acceleration dialed in. Uh, I did get a couple more accelerometers just Saturday in the mail. So hopefully one of those will actually work and I'll be able to uh, get my input shaping dialed in appropriately. So far, so good. I have found, uh, just a note, and I'll end the, the video with this, that I had some really, you know, basically I never tuned retraction uh, with my Clipper installation um, here. I just went to firmware retraction, and I'm using one and a half millimeters at 30 millimeters per second because of the all metal hot end. I really don't want a lot of retraction, and so far the stringing has been exceptionally uh, non-existent. So that's been great. Uh, I, I, you know, I. I wonder if I'm just lucky. I, I prefer to calibrate, but right now I'm kind of scared to mess with it because it's doing such a good job. I have found, and you'll see in the back if you look, there's the extrusion assembly, but on the other side of the gantry, uh, you'll see a little uh, a green box there. I have been using a very light bit of canola oil on some sponge uh, to, to lubricate the uh, filament just a little bit. Uh, as a way of seasoning the all metal hot end. And I did notice a difference. Um, even uh, the little bits of wispiness that uh, were there before have kind of gone away. Um, and I definitely have had zero problems with like heat creep or anything else with my A3D. So I'm kind of sold on that. At least you know, who knows whether I need to continue doing it. But for right now, I'm happy with the way that's, that's turned out. Um, so we'll let this finish up uh, and I'll leave you there. Uh, if you've got questions, put them below. I'm definitely no expert. And at the same time, I am a tinkerer. So I have learned some lessons here. Um, and if you uh, have some questions about some things, uh, you know, in the config file and stuff like that, I definitely can talk about them. I can talk about, you know, my travail getting the uh, sensor to work. Um, the, the, the ABL sensor, it's still having some issues. So for example, those are just an example of some things that I'm still wrestling with. But for now, at least it's printing relatively reliably. Uh, once I actually hit print, I'm really not worried about it. 
um, and we'll go from there. So happy 3D printing, happy everyone thinker and clipper action, whatever that means, and we'll talk to you soon.